Messi. Twisting turns and the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through I'm just getting into Portland after a long day of travel and it is crazy. Normally I'm used to travel and there are people all over in the airports. This is the first time I've traveled since COVID. So I think it was the last week of February when last time I was in a plane. Going through all the airports, completely different. It's like a ghost town everywhere we went. Grand Rapids, Minneapolis, and landing here in Portland, same thing. Just grabbing our rental car here and then got about a three hour drive south to Roseburg, Oregon. Be excited to get in. Be even more excited to take this mask off. Good. This is Jesse. How's it going? Hey, nice to meet you. You remember that again here? I did. I did. Door was locked on me. That's okay. What door? That door. It's not unlocked. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, I'm listening to you. Well, it didn't take very long this morning. We started glassing up this kind of ravine area. There's a big frame buck that worked across. It's got a decent look at him. Um, we'd like to get a little bit closer look. He's either a 3 by 2 or a 3 by 3 but he's just got a giant frame on him. Carries his mass all, all the way to the end. And, He's a good looking buck. We're here. He's he kind of fed out behind these trees and we're just waiting to see if he pops out on the side to get another look at him. Pretty good sign first thing in the morning about 15 minutes in. This ranch is actually the same one we bird hunted down this draw down here last year for uh, valley quail. So semi familiar with it. Pretty cool area. And it's early season right now. So the deer are kind of just in their normal routine. They're not chasing does or anything like that. So usually get them for the first couple hours in the morning. Last couple hours in the evening is when they'll be up on their feet and moving, basically just feeding, going back and forth from bedding areas to food. So i uh, try to maximize this morning, see if we can't glass up anymore. Well, this buck popped out. He definitely looks like a shooter. So we're gonna try to sneak up this back ridge, at least get a better look at him. We may not be able to get in within distance with the muzzleloader, but we'll try and he's kind of hanging in the same area so he may bed down there we just want to cut the distance get a little closer get in the game
Peace out. Oh shit, he ran across the opening. Coming down here. Nope, he's in the grass. He's on the other side of that green, the grass. See him right there? Yeah. Just give me a warning. food sources that Columbia blacktail have in this area are these leaves right here and this is a poison oak leaf. What we've been catching while we've been here is they've been eating these leaves and they're also poison oak trees that have a lot of moss in the area and the deer will just hammer that moss. So besides those two obviously they eat grass and then there are some hidden apple trees in here just from I don't even know how many hundreds of years they are old. Obviously apples are like candy for deer so we've been spending a lot of time glassing by those random apple trees that we see this time of year they're starting to drop apples so it's kind of a continuous food source but this is their main thing that they eat here poison oak. Now you've noticed I haven't touched this thing because I don't want that on me. Well, we're back in that same valley we were this morning. This hillside right behind us up here is the last spot we saw them. I did get pretty hot this afternoon. It was up to about 86. Right now we've got just about two hours of sunlight left, so it's perfect time. We're just gonna edge up here on this hill, set up and start glassing. Hopefully he comes out one of the valleys tonight. If not, we'll probably be back in here tomorrow. But problem hunting early season like this is just temperatures get up so high. So it's first thing in the morning, last thing in the afternoon type of thing when you get the deer movement but when they get up that time they're usually not chasing or doing anything they're just feeding so it gives you a lot of time to move in Baby, yeah, we got him. Smoked him. <laughs>
Okay, he's still looking around at the does. Whenever you're ready. came back to that same area. We've seen this deer the last two mornings. And he was in the same draw that we had him yesterday that he snuck out the backside, set up broadside, and gave us enough time to get laid flat here in 390. He made a perfect shot. He went straight down. Been chasing this deer now. Third morning, seen him every day. So can't wait to go put the hands on him and see what he actually looks like. Super wide, so he should be pretty awesome. This is the guy we've been after the last couple of days. And the weight was well worth it. The old deer got a big Roman nose on him. He's got a lot of character, big body, the exact type of deer you're looking for. Pretty, pretty cool how every morning we'd see him within 100 yards of the same spot every day. He definitely had a routine, but after that first 30 minutes, he would just disappear for the rest of the day. But everything worked out this morning. Coat's absolutely gorgeous. He's got everything you'd want in a Columbia Blacktail. Oh, we spotted this buck first thing this morning and playing cat and mouse ever since. We had a couple close encounters this morning and then saw him again tonight. Had a split second, let him go, and then all of a sudden he disappeared and then set up underneath this apple tree right here and saw a couple does come out. And then at last light, a little buck came out and this guy came out seconds later. And you could tell the size difference. All the guys keep asking me, when are you going to quit guiding? So you're supposed to have us and pay us. Why do you... You do this because you like it. Yeah, you take up <laughs> And that right there is why I do it. I yeah. like watching them hit the ground. Well, we glassed this guy up first thing in the morning and then played cat and mouse all day with him. He'd give us a glimpse or just a split second to get a shot off and there was always something in his way. Came back in the afternoon, it got up to about 86, so everything bedded down midday. We came back a couple hours before dark, glassed him up again, and then he disappeared right until the end. And we were running out of light, and he just appeared underneath this apple tree. And the old Gunworks 50 cal did the job on him. Just an old bruiser of a Columbia blacktail here. I mean, carries his mass all over, big Roman nose. Exactly what we came for. He could be, like say, on the downhill side. His body's just freaking here. Yeah. A tub. He's a... Well, of course, we did watch him eat all day long. <laughs> he put on just 10 pounds today. today. <laughs> I am filming a TV show, don't worry about it. 